Today we're drawing the Brittle Star. Now it's a really easy thing to draw. You don't need a lot of drawing skill, but what you do need is lots of patience. So if you have the patience, if you've ever been to detention, had to write out something a hundred times, you'll, you'll do well at this. So give it a go. Get your pencil, biro, whatever you use to make a mark with, grab a piece of paper and join me with this one. G'day, I'm Bill Flowers. Today we're going to draw the Brittle Star. Now this is a fairly easy one because it moves around and so if you get a arm in the wrong place or something like that, it doesn't matter. So we're going to start with a pentagon shape in the middle of your page here. Something like that. Now I'm just doing it very, very gently. You can hardly see it. The wonderful thing about the Brittle Star is the way those arms wriggle around, really snake-like. I love that about this thing. Look at that. So you just do these free-flying arms like this. That free-flying line. Such a weird creature. Now this rough pentagon shape in the middle, we're going to sort of round that off a bit. Like that. And this is where we're going to do some patterns. All on these arms here, we're going to do sort of like zeros, like this. Lots and lots of them. Keep in mind, as you get to the actual points, they, these zeros have to go a little bit smaller. But for now, these zeros are looking pretty cool. See, that's easy, anyone can do this. You know, it's, it's an easy thing to draw, it just takes patience. And some people fail because they don't have patience. You imagine the little doodles that you do when you talk on the telephone. Some of them are fantastic. Because you're sort of feeling free. This is one of these drawings you can feel free because it's an easy one. It doesn't really have to look like something. Because this guy already looks weird. So if your drawing looks weird, it doesn't matter. This feels a bit like detention, where you have to write something out a hundred times. Or a thousand times. Not that I'd know what that was like. I was always such a good boy. Now, just when you sort of think you're going to have a break, we're going to do worse. We're going to do twice as much again. This time, long, skinny letter U's. I told you it's easy. You just need patience. Between these zeros, a skinny letter U like this. Look at that. Sometimes when they take corners, they almost touch. When you go on the outside, they spread out or fan out. So that first line you did, always try and keep these letter U's at a 90 degrees angles to that line. And they can be pretty rough and ready, they don't have to be all pretty and neat. Oh, that was a terrible one. Skinny it out a bit. There we go. Patience. Trying to get in between each of these gaps, you need a bit of patience. And this is simplifying it, the actual creature looked much more complicated than this. I will not pick up brittle stars, I will not pick up brittle stars, I will not pick up brittle stars. Attention. Poor brittle stars, sometimes their feet break off. You've got to be very careful. So, I will not pick up brittle stars. This is my punishment. The last few. Done. So now, if you're using a pencil, you don't hold like that. You hold like that to do those lines, those zeros and those U's. But now we're going to do a bit of shading. You hold your pencil like that. Get more pencil 
lead to the paper whereas like that you get a point like that you get a lot more to the paper so hold like that we're going to go under here and shade a bit here goes Right there. So it lifts that bit out a bit. Now between these legs, here's a little bit of shading here. If I do this here like that, it will make these bits look like they're upraised slightly. A few little dots. And a few dots here and there. Now on these legs. It looked fantastic if you took the time to shade under each of these legs. I'm not going to do that so much. Throw a little bit of shade here and there, but also every few segments or so, I'm going to shade in a bit, giving it that stripey look. I'm just doing it pretty roughly. Put a little bit of shade under there, like that, in here. I'm going to run the shade around that centre bit and still do a bit here that's looking good so I don't know just every just leave gaps like that and then just shade a bit in so there's my brittle star. Now I've simplified this and yet it looks really complicated because of all those little details. But those details were simplified, just like squashed down zeros and skinny letter U's all just to make up this sort of pattern of those legs. But in real life it wasn't quite that simple. In fact if you go back and have a look at that brittle star video, and I'll put a link to it here, it was much more complicated than what I've drawn here. So this will take you to a certain level of drawing. You can copy this, you can learn to draw, and you'll have a drawing which is pretty cool. But to really know how to draw really well, you've got to draw from real life and really, really look at something. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.